Hey guys, it's Janelle with Cypress and Spruce, and today we're going to be using our Vitality oils to make some guacamole. Every time I make this guacamole, I get tons of compliments and people ask me for the recipe because the, um, the Vitality oils really do add just this extra kick and this extra flavor to it. And so, um, we're gonna, it's obviously, it's very, it's very simple to make guacamole. Pretty much everybody has their variation on the recipe. And so you're welcome to change or tweak or alter it to your taste and your liking. For example, some people love tomatoes in their guacamole. I don't mind tomatoes. I don't know that it's my preference, but my family, um, my boys don't like tomatoes, so I leave those out. I'm gonna do four avocados. Haas avocados have better flavor, so that's my avocado of choice, especially when I'm making guacamole. You can get a spoon and scoop it out, but the simplest way is just to squeeze the avocados. Ooh, this one's nice and ripe. So you're getting nice ripe avocados, it's going to give you the best flavor. And it also makes it a lot easier during the process of mashing the avocados up. It's a forker spoon. Okay. So even though I am adding lime vitality, I will be adding half of the lime squeezed in there. They really do bring different flavors to the table. Um, for example, lime. Fruit has um, that tartness to it, whereas the lime essential oil does not, just the flavor. And it's the acidity in the lime that will help keep your guacamole from going brown as fast. So that's why I like to keep that in there. It's not quite as right. Still work just fine. So for the month of January, I've been doing a whole 30 diet. And so I, I was definitely eating my fair share of avocados or guacamole or anything that I could substitute for a salad dressing. I feel like I've really had the chance to perfect this during that time. Okay, so once you have your avocados in there, uh, next I will go ahead and squeeze in half a lime. Nice thing about lime, so you don't have to worry about seeds like when you're squeezing lemons. Okay, should do the trick. I like to put purple onions in mine. That's totally optional. Some people do not like onions. Honestly, my children don't prefer it, but I just like it so much. And I don't like onions normally in, um, when I'm cooking. I don't like the crunch, but in my guacamole, I do. And I do like the purple onions. So I would say I put about, a lot of recipes will call for like literally a half of an onion, um, even to two to three avocados. I don't put nearly that much. About three tablespoons, maybe. Okay, and then cilantro, I'll put about two to three tablespoons of that, or about two, I would say. Some fresh garlic, minced garlic. I like, I like plenty of garlic. So this is about two teaspoons, I would say. Now, some people like to mash up their avocados before they add in all the ingredients, but I like to do it this way, that way, I know that the flavor from the onion and the garlic and even the cilantro is getting mixed in with the avocado. Now comes the part where, in my honest opinion, you just have to kind of taste as you go. So I'm going to get a few spoons over there. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start by adding a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. I like, 
I like a fair amount of salt in mine. And I found that like pink, the Himalayan pink salt is not quite as salty as the normal sea salt that I use sometimes. So I like mine to stay fairly chunky. About like this. Like to me that's, that's plenty. And a bunch. Probably close to a half a teaspoon of black pepper, fresh black pepper. Okay, and now comes our essential oils. So I'm going to be using the lime and the citrus fresh. I'm going to put two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to start with six drops of lime. I'm going to taste it after I'm done here and we'll see if we need any tweaking. And I would do about three drops. Here we go. It's a little slower to come out. Three drops of citrus fresh. This actually has spearmint in it. So it's kind of an interesting addition. I really like it. But I don't put quite as much as the lime. Okay. Grab some spins and do a little tasting. I'll cut that. Okay, so plenty salty. Could probably be a tad less. I mean, I think it's great. I like it, but for some people's palate, that might be a little salty. I think it's delicious. I don't know if I would change anything. It's, I think I would probably just a little bit more lime so I can taste it, but I just love that flavor that it adds. I did six more drops of that, and I'm going to go ahead and add and do two more of the citrus fresh. Okay. Everything else is right on point. Just the right amount of onions, just the right amount of cilantro. Like I said, I really do like this level of saltiness, but not everybody does. I think it's perfect. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you are new to essential oils and you would like to learn more about essential oils or the vitality line of essential oils and why, they're safe to cook with and how you can um, cook with them and use them other ways, you can visit our website, cypressandspruce.com. Thank you.